Right then, so we're on second vid, fourth lesson. Boom! God, mate. The logs, they're just so full on there. It's they're not that bad. Right, so, to get rid of 2 to the power of, I'm going to take log to base 2 of both sides. So I've got log to base 2 of 2 to the power of x is log to base 2 of 13. The log to base 2 and the 2 to the power of cancel, and I've got log to base 2 of 13. So there's one there for you to have a go at. Well, this will be, um, be log to base 5 that you take. You might be thinking, oh my god, what's going on here? Don't worry. We do loads of them. We do plenty. Divide through by the 2. So I've got 3 to the power of x is 10. And I'm going to do log to base 3 this time because of the 3 to the power of. So I've got log to base 3 of 3 to the x is log to base 3 of 10. Log to base 3 and the 3 to the power of cancel. I've got log to base 3 of 10. There's one over there for you to have a go at. And that'll be log to base 2. Oh, God. Oh, dear. What time are we on? 10 past 1. He's got some dinner in a minute. I'll do the C and the D and I'll leave it there, I reckon. Right, so here I've got log to base 8. So I'm doing log to base 8 of 8 to the power of 3x minus 1 is log to base 8 of 2.6. So the log to base 8 and the 8 to the power of this here the inverses of each other. Add on the 1. And then divide through by a third. Well, divide through by 3 times by a third. Just algebra, isn't it, really? You just get your head around it. I'm going to move that one over there. So I've got eight lots of. Three to the five, that's minus two. Is, oops, it's going to be 1.28, but 0.8 then. If I was thinking the eight, it must be a 0.8. That's 1.2. Divide three by eight. It's going to be another 0.15. Now I'm going to do log to base 3. Log to base 3 and 3 to the power of disappear. You see how they're kind of becoming easier? All right. Add on the 2. Divide through by five. There. And there's some ones for you to try as well. There, so. That's only on three and a quarter. I wonder if we should do the type B ones. Type B? What the hell's this about? Oh, oh. I wonder. Go on then, let's keep going. Who needs me dinner anyway? I don't. So we've got different powers on different sides. So I've got different bases, 3 and a 7, sorry. So I'm just going to do log of one. Now you can actually do that with the other ones. So I'm just going to do log or ln of both sides. Um, right, so I take ln of both sides. So this is because the, the bases are the same. I've got a 3 and a 2. So I've got ln of... 3 to the power 2x plus 1 is ln of 7 to the power 8 minus x. I'm going to use the rule that says the power I can put at the front. Now I tend to do this straight off. So I've got a 2x plus 1 times log 3 and I've got an 8 minus x times log 7. And then I'm going to expand my brackets. So I've got a 2x log 3 plus log 3 is an 8 
log 7 minus x log 7. And I'm going to collect like terms. I'm going to take the ln3 over there. And I'm going to take the x ln7 over there. So I've got a 2x ln3 plus x ln7 is equal to 8 ln7 minus ln3. <laughs> Oh my word. I can take out x as a factor, so I've got 2 ln3 plus ln7 on the left, 8 ln7 minus ln3 on the right, and then divide through by that bracket gives me 8 ln7 minus ln3, all divided by 2 ln3 plus ln7. It's just an algebra using the rules, which is nice. And to be fair, this is how I do the type A ones as well. I just do LNs of both sides and just do some more rearranging. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So with this one, um, I mean, that's got E's of both sides, hasn't it? So I can take LN of both sides. So I've got LN of 4 e to the x is LN of e to 2x minus 1, that would be the time. So I've got ln of 4 plus ln of e to the x is ln of e to 2x minus 1. So I've got ln of 4, the ln and e cancel to give me an x, the ln and e cancel to be 2x minus 1. If I take the 1 over there and take the x over there, I've got ln 4 plus 1 is equal to x. There, on that side. Messy, but all right. Algebra, loads of algebra. Oof, life algebra. Right. <laughs> God, that just made me. That just absolutely made me break myself there. Made me jump. Right, so what we've got here, so we've got the x coordinate there of the point of intersection of y equals a half to the x. So that's my, this one here is my 5 times by 60 x. And this one is my a half x. So I want to show that the points are intersection. So I'm saying that they're equal to each other, aren't I? So a half to the power of x is 5 times by 6 to the power of x. Right. So the half is 2 to the power of minus 1. So that's 2 to the power of minus x. So I can just multiply that through. Uh, Let's do logs. Now, I would normally just do log. So normally, ln. But if you look at the answer, it's log to base 2. So I'm going to use log to base 2, because that's what I'm aiming towards on my answer. So I've got log to base 2, 2 to the power minus x. is log to base 2, 5 times 6 to the x. So the log space 2 and 2 to the power of cancel. If I expand my log, I've got log to base 2 of 5 plus log to base 2 of 6 to the x. I'm going to put the x at the front. So I'll put that x there to the front. And I'm gonna what am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna rearrange it to get x on its own. So I'm gonna take the log two of five over and I'll take the x over. So I've got minus log two of five is x log two of six minus uh, sorry plus x. There. So I've got minus log two of five. There's a bit of an argument there for the 6 being 2 times 3. I'm splitting it a little bit more. I'm going to take out x as a factor. So that's going to be log 2 of 6 plus 1. Is that kind of looking like the answer? So that's the top bit. Oh, look, yeah, I do. We do need to do that. Look, see? The log 2 of 6 needs to be split. Uh, so I might split it now before I move it. So log 2 of 5 is x. Log 2 